Hi everyone, in this video, we will configure VTP mode. Before we move to configuration, let us understand the types of VTP mode. First and foremost, we have VTP server mode. If you are configuring the switch in VTP server mode, that means you will be able to create and delete the VLANs. The VTP servers which will propagate the VLAN changes. And also we know that in all the Cisco switches, the default mode is a VTP server mode. The moving to the VTP client mode. In client mode, the switch will not be able to change its VLAN configuration. That means the VTP client switch cannot delete or create or, or even unable to modify the VLANs. However, the received VTP updates will be processed and will be forwarded. For the VTP transparent mode, in this mode, it does not share its VLAN database, but it can forward the received VTP advertisement to the other switches. But however, you can create and delete the VLANs manually on a VTP transparent mode, but these changes will not be sent to the other switches. Like in case of VTP server mode, we were able to see the VLAN information will be propagated to the other switches, but in case of transparent mode, we will not be able to see those changes or any VLAN propagations to the other switches. And lastly, we have VTP off mode. So it is just something which is similar to the VTP transparent mode, but the only difference is that the switch which is using this mode will not forward the received VTP updates. In case of transparent mode, it was able to forward any VTP uh, advertisement to the other switches. But if you are configuring VTP off mode, that means it won't forward any VTP updates to the other switches. And this command will be supported only in case of VTP version three. So with this said, let's get started with the configuration. So configurations and the topology is very simple. I've just taken three switches connected to um, each other with the help of a trunk is what we need to configure. And between the switches and the PC, I have to configure access and and between the switch four and the PC three, again, access for the VLAN 10, and the VLAN 10 will be named as engineering. So let's get uh, started with the VTP mode server. So switch four will be the VTP mode server. Switch five will be the VTP mode transparent, and switch three will be VTP mode client, okay? Uh, and, the goal of this lab is we should be able to ping from PC2 to PC3 or vice versa. Okay, so with this said, let's go ahead and configure VTP mode server. So go to just CLI, enable mode, configure terminal. VTP mode server. Don't forget to configure VTP domain and the password. So here domain, I will take Cisco. VTP password, Cisco in lowercase. Okay, exit. So on switch five, let's configure VTP mode transparent. Enable. Configure terminal, VTP mode transparent, VTP domain Cisco, VTP password Cisco in lowercase. Exit and we'll go to switch three. CLI, enable mode, configure terminal, VTP mode client, VTP 
domain cisco php password cisco in lower case exit we also need to configure the ip address and ip address for pc2 is 10.1.1.1 .1 with slash 8 and for the pc3 we got 1.2 so let's go to the desktop and configure the ip address manually i'm using static ip address so 10. 1.1.1 with slash 8 by default. And PC3, let's configure IP address 10.1.1.2 and default subnet mask is automatically populated. And now that we have configured the PTP modes for all the switches, we also need to configure the VLANs. So if I will configure the VLAN, so I, I'll just put this uh, both pieces to VLAN 10, which is uh, which will be named as a engineering VLAN. So let's go ahead and configure this access link between the switch and the PC. So I'm gonna switch three. Let's configure. Configure terminal. Interface, pass Ethernet, so just slash one. Switch port mode access, switch port access VLAN 10. Exit. Exit. Okay. We also need to configure access port between the switch 4 and the PC trees, and that's going to be access link with VLAN 10. So let's go to this switch 4, configure terminal. Interface fast Ethernet zero slash one switch port mode access switch port access VLAN ten. Okay, so now we have configured just uh, VLAN ten on uh, client and the server. But however, let's check if we can create some more VLANs on this switch, on, on this uh, switch four, which is a server, and see if that's replicated automatically on the client. So at this moment, let's just create some VLANs on the server uh, switch. So VLAN 10, I'll name it as uh, engineering. That's what we have for our PC. So engineering and VLAN 20, call it uh, name. HR. Okay, so I just created two VLANs. Let's see if that's propagated to the client automatically. Okay, so let's go to client. But before that, you also may need to make sure that you connect a trunk link between the switch five and switch three, switch five and switch four. So in order to uh, make sure that this is a trunk, I am going to use dynamic desirable command on the transparent switch and connect, make this board port act like a dynamic desirable so that it is automatically forming a trunk. Because by default, this port will be in dynamic O2. So anything which is dynamic O2 and you have dynamic desirable on the other side, that's going to form a trunk. So I'm on a switch three if you want to check. So just type show interface fast Ethernet zero slash two switch port. So you can see it's dynamic auto for the administrative mode with operational mode static access at the moment. But however, let's make some changes on this transparent switch. And I'm going to take a range command. So configure terminal interface range fast Ethernet zero slash one until two switch port mode dynamic desirable so both these ports are dynamic desirable you can see that it's going yellow with an uh, orange now so it's going to negotiate the, the other side and that's going to form a trunk so let's just let's just give some time for this to form a trunk and check so hmm, let's check this switch on the server so show vlan brief I'm on a server switch, which is switch four. You can see there are two VLANs, and out of which this was something that we configured and additional. 
So now that the propagation is completed and it's green, so let's go to the switch three. On the switch three, that's our client switch. So show VLAN brief. So you have not configured VLAN 20, so that was still up here here. Because that's going to be propagated from the server switch to the client switch. Okay, so, but in case of a transparent switch, let's check whether it has accepted those VLAN changes, but it by default it will not. So let's give a command and check on switch five, show VLAN brief. Yeah, you, you don't you do not see VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 on the switch five because the transparent switch is something that it does not share its VLAN database. But however, it will forward any VTP advertisement that we are going to perform. Okay, so um, with this said, if you are even trying to ping from PC2 to PC3, it will fail. Let's check if it fails or not. So ping from this PC2, 10.1.1.2, it's you will see the packets are getting trapped. So the reason is because we need to manually add the VLAN 10 on this transparent switch. Only then um, the, if you will be able to reach out from PC2 to PC3 or vice versa from PC3 to PC2. So we will go ahead and manually add VLAN 10 because that's what we need and we want to um, connect from the species which are connected on the engineering VLAN for VLAN 10. Okay, so let's go ahead and add this VLAN 10 manually on the transparent switch. So configure terminal VLAN 10. Okay. Okay, so that's added. It depends on your requirement. If you want to add VLAN 20, you can, but for now I'm just adding VLAN 10 because I just want to reach between PC2 and PC3. Okay, so let's check. Show VLAN brief. Show VLAN brief. You can see VLAN 10 is added, or created manually on the transparent switch. So if you want to check the negotiation, you can see um, on switch three, show interface trunk, you can see that this got negotiated and it is forming a trunk. And same as here, so this, the minute when we did dynamic desirable on this transparent switch for this port, the other end is going to be negotiated and forming a trunk. So show interface trunk, you can see the negotiation happening and it's forming a trunk for we first Ethernet 0 slash 2 on this switch 4. Okay, so now that we have a trunk configuration and we also have added VLAN 10, so let's verify if you're able to reach from PC2 to PC3. So go to the PC2 and type ping. 1.1.1.2, which is this IP at so let's check. So that's working. So you can see there is 0% loss. So that means we were able to connect from the VLAN 10 to VLAN 10 on the other side and we're using VTP modes. And by making sure that we add and advertise dot we, we, we lend 10 information on the transparent switch. So this is all about the configuration of VTP modes. I hope that this video has been informative to you all. See you in the next video.